people that are more deserving than I am. I want to especially thank Melissa. She's been my best friend for years and my family for all the support. And I've enjoyed working with all the local and the state REA people and I appreciate it. Thank you. Continue your good work. Bye. We started out, we lived north of Dupree and I went to country school for the first five years and then we moved down here to Bear Creek with my folks and my brother and a sister. And uh, I went to Dupree School and graduated in 1958. And then in, I started to work for the ASC office in 1958. And then uh, Russell and I got married in 1958. So 58 was a pretty special year in my life. And mom and dad were always there to influence us, to help us to do better. And I went with mom and dad, or dad quite a bit to help him measure fields and stuff. And that's how I got involved in with the ASC office. And Russell and I, we dated through high school and we've got two boys and we're happy with them, Clinton and Doug, and they both done well and we are proud of them. And we also have three grandchildren from Doug and two great grandchildren. Yes. When I started to work for the ASCS office, Keith Wartenweiler was my boss and I worked with him from 58 till 94 when he passed away but he was always involved in a lot of community things. And I guess that's where I got kind of started in doing a lot of community work because he was a big volunteer and I followed kind of in half of his footsteps. Well, it means a lot to me and I would like to give a special thanks to Melissa, my best friend, for nominating me and the other co-ops that also supported me through the years. I guess with the co-op family has always been part of my family and I still think about them a lot in appreciate everything that they do for our community and the other co-ops too. Community service means to me that you don't only think about yourself and you like to help others and you like to be involved with different things in your community such as uh, whether it's working for your church or for your school or for your cemetery board or Pioneer Hall was a big part of my life as far as community service. I uh, was the treasurer of it for 15 years, spent a lot of hours help them get it organized and done. It's been used for many events. If we didn't have co-ops, we wouldn't have power to do all the things that we do. And our co-op is always ready to come day or night. And I guess the co-op was a big help when we done our Pioneer Hall. We had a tornado in 2010 that took our building down and they came down and helped us and we got rebuilt again. And it's been a big plus for our community. I think that they should, people should be friendly and you should always be involved in your community and support the elders. We have got a lot of them in our community and our senior citizens have appreciated the fact that we get to have meals on wheels and I guess living in a small community if you ever need help you know someone's going to come and help you. I guess I think back to once when we had a fire in our house, it didn't take long till everybody came and supported us. And I'm a big supporter of our fire department and it's done a big part of our community. And Russell's been involved with it and our son is involved in it. And I guess I was in Fireman's Accelerator for several years. So there's a lot of things that you can do in your community that people don't know about. She's got other awards from different places in which she deserved them all, of course. And through the years, 60 some years, well, uh, we've been uh, together, you might say, never very far apart. Finally, after she would be retired out of uh, the ASC, well, then she went on Moral Grand Board, which I was glad to see because that way she got to express some of. Uh, her ideas and thoughts and 
as soon as people knew that she was on the board, they would they would call her, say, "Hey, we're out of power." So then she'd tell them, "Well, what to do?" Or a lot of times she would say, "Well, I'll find out and call you back." What the reason is, you don't have any power, which was which is very seldom, and it keeps getting less and less as everything gets better and better and better. Yeah, well, Bev and I go back a long ways. Um, she was actually my 4-H leader. <laughs> as a kid growing up, I would say our families were friends. Like her, her, um, her parents were friends of my parents. Um, so we, we date way back. I, I start work at Marl Grand Electric. And lo and behold, Bev, Bev becomes a director at Marl Grand. So our friendship just flourished. Um, Bev was one of these gals, um, didn't talk a lot at the board meetings, uh, but when she did, everybody would listen because Bev was very well respected. Um, she was the gal who we would have a um, dedication to a new uh, treatment plant for the rural water. Bev showed up. Bev would be there. Uh, the patrol ride we did we we uh, did the patrol uh, the the line patrol and Bev showed up Bev went to it with me um, you know we'd have a storm job and um, food take food out to the guys Bev would show up um, she comes very natural for her to be kind generous think of others um, she, her community involvement involved her time on the Marl Grand Electric Board and she did her members um, well during that period. So you know it was amazing because um, when we went uh, last week to Pier for her to get this award and I watched and um, the number of people that Bev has stayed in contact with, remembered people's names from all over the state. Um, so she's kept in touch with this, even though she's retired from our board. So as I watched her that evening, people would come up and they, she remembered them, they remembered her. She is, she's, a, she's an example of what the cooperative spirit is in our state.